The annual Boa Forum for Asia opens today in southern China's Hainan province. Chinese President Xi Jinping will attend the opening ceremony via video link on Thursday and deliver a keynote speech. And delegates from governments, businesses, academia and media across the world will be gathering both in person and online over three days to discuss the post-pandemic development agenda for Asia and the world. Wednesday's agenda focuses on a variety of topics including carbon neutrality, intellectual property rights, regional economic cooperation and the global fight against COVID. Strict pandemic prevention measures are in place at the forum and participants are required to take daily COVID tests. Since 2001, the Boire Forum has thrived despite a global financial crisis, a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic and geopolitical tension. Gao Yiming looks at the forum's legacy to date. For more than 20 years, the Boa Forum for Asia has embodied the region's collaborative wisdom in responding to international economic challenges. It was proposed a year after the 1997 Asian financial crisis and inaugurated in 2001. Since then, the forum has gone through three distinctive phases. For the first few years of the Boal Forum, the key phrase was win-win, the idea that global trade and investment cooperation is not a zero-sum game. In 2008, a new global economic crisis hit, shifting the world's economic discourse. Over the following years, its themes featured key words like growth, recovery and development. Since 2013, the forum has embraced another change. It's become more forward-looking and heralded China's vision for the future. That year, Chinese President Xi Jinping laid out his vision for deepening regional cooperation. China will increase connectivity with its neighbors, actively explore the building of a regional financing platform, advance economic integration within the region, and thus increase its competitiveness. And it was later that year that President Xi proposed the Belt and Road Initiative, aimed at promoting joint prosperity across the Eurasian landmass. The message of his next keynote speech at Boao, which was in 2015, also went beyond Asia. He elaborated another of his key visions, which is building a community with a shared future for mankind. To build a community with a shared future, we must uphold mutual respect and equal treatment among all countries and commit to win-win cooperation and common development. We must ensure common, comprehensive, cooperative and sustainable security. Different civilizations must draw on one another's strengths and enhance mutual learning. In 2018, trade protectionism was growing in many economies. Once again, President Xi reaffirmed the values that China and the Forum upholds. China's open gates will not close but will be open wider. In November of that year, the first China International Import Expo was held in Shanghai. Many global companies continued to find opportunities in working with their Chinese partners. And in 2021, the forum aimed to focus on joining hands to strengthen global governance and advance Belt and Road cooperation. Going forward, we will continue to work with other parties in high-quality Belt and Road cooperation. We will follow the principles of extensive consultation, joint contribution and shared benefits, and champion the philosophy of open, green and clean cooperation, in a bid to make Belt and Road cooperation high-standard, people-centered and sustainable. Experts say it's a continuation of the same spirit of openness and collaboration that the Boa Forum has stood for two decades. Gao Yiming, CGTN.